the tachometer in this Massey Ferguson 35 does not work. So let's fix it. It's already loosened this up, but if you look right back here on the camshaft, that's where the tachometer cable connects in. First thing you want to do is just take it off and pull it out. You want to look at the end of it and see if it's still square. And this one looks pretty square to me. Now, we can actually function test this by turning it by hand. So I'm just going to sit here and, and twist this thing around in my hand like this, just as if it was turning inside the machine. Let's look and see if the tack works. Oh, it does. So that means I don't need to replace my tachometer uh, gauge and I don't need to replace my cable. Had I pulled this off and turned it and found no reaction from the tachometer, that would have told me that I probably have a bad gear in this tack and I would need to replace it. But that didn't happen. Had I pulled this out and found that the cable was rounded where it inserts into the cam that would have told me that i need to replace the cable but that didn't happen either i needed to service my oil bath cleaner anyway so i went ahead and did that in another video but while that's off it makes it easier to film what's going on here so let's go ahead we need to remove this uh cover from the cam it's a cam cover there's just three little bolts holding it on and i've already removed those and then you pry this off and it reveals the end of your camshaft there is a little adapter i believe it's called your tachometer drive adapter that is press fitted into the end of this camshaft uh, and what we want to do is kind of inspect that. We want to see, is it loose? Is that turning inside the cam? This one is not loose. Definitely not loose, not turning inside the cam. So that's not the problem. But if yours was loose, what you might want to do is put a little bit of Loctite on it and put it back in and see if that'll snug it up. Or you could replace it if it's just completely loose and Loctite's not going to do the job. In this case, let's go ahead and put the cable in it just as if I'm wondering if if perhaps the inside of it is rounded out. It's a little hard to tell. Hmm. Yeah, it's hard to tell. So let's put the cable back inside that drive. There we go. I'm just going to stick it in there a little ways. Actually, that's as far as it goes. And then I'm going to try to turn this cable. And that, that's our problem. Uh, if you notice, it might be hard. Let me see if I can get some light on it. If you notice, this is inside there. And I am turning the cable freely. So that means somehow or another, the end of this tachometer drive adapter got uh, stripped out. Now that we know the little adapter on the camshaft is rounded out, there's two ways that I can think of to fix it. Option one, which is the proper way to fix it, is actually to take a nut and weld it right there to the end. Once that's been welded on, I could take a slide hammer or a puller and pull this little adapter right out and then replace it with a brand new one. Unfortunately, I don't have a welder available to me at the moment and so I'm not going to take that route. Instead, what I'm going to do is I just, I went out and I picked up some JB Weld and I am going to weld, or not weld, I'm going to epoxy in the old cable into the old adapter and so i'm going to fill that with epoxy 
and stick it in there and get it all put back together nice and solid and hope that that will set up strong and tight and hold it in place. Now before even opening up the epoxy, you want to get everything ready uh, to do this because that stuff sets up within like four minutes or something like that so you don't have a whole lot of time. Now what that means is I went ahead and checked in there and I actually ended up replacing this oil uh, gasket that was in there and then I went ahead and I've got my new gasket here on the housing and I've got it all set up and then I've got my uh, three screws uh, sitting to the side ready to to work. When you go to put this back together you notice that there's sort of a uh, indention in one side of this. That goes down. That uh, is an oil weep hole that will allow the oil to, to drain down and then back into that little hole right there. This just takes equal parts of each. I always just do sort of a straight line that way I can kind of see if I'm gonna have equal parts. It looks like good enough there. We'll do the same thing to this one. That looks about equal. So we will mix that together now. And that's when the clock starts. And so I actually read the directions now. It looks like I've got six minutes to work this. And get it all back together and ready to sit overnight. And what I'm doing is I'm mixing this to sort of a uniform color. Once I feel like there's a nice gray color, I'm just gonna collect it all up right there. Get this thing filled up real nice. Okay, I'm feeling pretty satisfied that it's nice and full. I'm gonna make sure there's no excess hanging on there that I don't want. Now let's start assembling this. So put that little weep hole down. This lined up. Now I'm just going to take the tack cable, insert it in where it needs to go, and get it nice and deep into that epoxy. Once you get everything tightened up, then it's just a waiting game. You want to give that epoxy a long time to set up and harden. And uh, this package says four hours, but I am going to go ahead and wait overnight and make sure not to start this tractor. Now let's see if it works. There we go, we got us a tachyometer again. Increasing the reds a little bit. Uh, I haven't seen that in a long time. I hope this video helped you. Would you mind helping me by taking a moment to click that subscribe button? It doesn't matter if you ever plan to watch another one of my videos again, but when you hit that button, it helps my channel grow either way. I appreciate you.